Hi everyone, this is Simon from the triathloncoach.com and today I bring you another edition of Triathlon Strength. As you can see from the board behind me, we're now entering month 6. Uh, this is September. Now this program is only going to be 4 weeks long. Um, by the time we finished it will be in October. For most of you, it will be the end of your triathlon season and at that point we'll move into what I call just uh, almost like an active recovery. So you won't be doing a great deal, um, just enough to keep you turning and ticking over and, and keep the body used to the strength training so we can pick, pick up again quite easily in November. So here are some of the key points to know about uh, this month. Um, the sessions are short. The warm-up will take you about five or six minutes. It's going to be the same warm-up that you've been doing all along. Um, some injury prevention exercises, just enough to get a full body warm-up. And that will take you straight into the main sets. Okay, you're going to be doing enough lifting to maintain your conditioning. Um, if you've been following the program since month one, then you've been into this for six months now. Um, you should know that this isn't a bodybuilding program. It's not the main focus, but it's important that you keep doing this right throughout the year so that you maintain the strength and integrity of the muscles and joints so that they're prepared and able to take on the amount of training that you're doing for your triathlon. Um, and it's important now that you make sure you don't miss a month. The consistency, as we've always said, is the most important thing for sporting success and that includes consistency in the weights room as well. So, um, do enough to maintain your conditioning. Um, this month you'll find that each workout, and there are two workouts, you'll do one of them um, on a Monday or Tuesday each week and one on a Friday and you'll repeat that for the next four weeks. Um, they'll only going to contain, contain two exercises but these exercises will involve several movements so you'll virtually cover the whole of the body with that and that's all we need to do because the most important thing for sportsmen is to, is to work on movements not muscles we're not bodybuilders um, you'll be doing 30 seconds work and 30 seconds rest for a total of 15 or 16 minutes um, with the two exercises that means you get to perform them for eight times each now that might seem very simple but believe me, when you do 30 seconds of one exercise and rest for 30 seconds, your heart rate will be getting quite high. And by the time you've done eight sets of that, you'll find it quite a challenge. So don't, for any reason, be thinking that just because it's September and we're near the end, it's going to get any easier. Um, and what I want you to do is select just enough weight to enable you to perform the exercise correctly and to give you some sort of challenge by the end of the session. Okay, so in the first set, it may feel a little easy, but as the fatigue builds up, you're going to find that um, it's going to get a little harder and you're struggling maybe to complete the 30 seconds. So uh, don't, don't be too ambitious with your weight for the early part of the workout. Okay, so that's it. As always, um, for those exercises that you're unsure of or that are new to the program, I've done some little videos. Make sure you watch those so you know how to perform them correctly. And keep up the good work. Those of you who have been on the program for six months, you've done a fantastic job so far. And uh, pretty soon well, you're going to get a little bit of a, an easier time and then we'll start again for next year, coming back stronger, faster and uh, leaner. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks and uh, oh, just as a PS, if you've got any questions, don't, uh, don't be afraid to email me or call me and uh, I can explain more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.